Now, in order to ensure improved visa regulations and entry requirements, Cabinet directed the Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration to make concerted efforts to implement the following recommendations regarding business and residence visa regulations to ensure improved entry requirements in order to boost local economic growth. One, introduction of e-visa or visa at entry point at a low nominal fee. Already we have been informed that e-visa is already available, but also that they must pay and what is this? Uh, or oh, swipe, yeah. Swipe, they can swipe there. They don't need first to come illegally into town to come and swipe to pay. They can do everything at the airport. So these facilities have been made available. But also make provision for easy access for work visa for highly skilled professionals and potential investors. And provision of easy access for residents visa for foreign pensioners. I think the last one, or oh sorry, the, 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 the third recommendation for Ministry of Home Affairs, offering residence visa on the back of capital investment with a to-be-defined threshold. So the ministry will come and say, all right, uh, as others said, the others is not just to come with $20 and say, yes, I'm an investor, but there should be a threshold, which will be applicable to the meets met in terms of investment as well. And that business people with already established businesses in Namibia should be given multiple entry visa, which is valid for five years. 